Hello, and welcome to the Kingdom YouTube channel. My name is Ruby Princess, and if you want to know more about me, check out my Twitter, kitsune 16 Kway. In this video, we'll be going over how to type something in a circle in Photoshop CC. We'll be using Photoshop CC's 2019's poster size for this video to not only create a clear view for you, the viewer, but because if you were to use this effect for a t-shirt design, for example, your best choice would be recommended 18 times 24 inches at the resolution of 300. After you've made your document, you're going to edit in. Go ahead and select the ellipse tool and change the type to path. It is not a counterfeit, this is the real one. Now with the ellipse tool select, you want to make a circle. If you hold down the shift key while doing this, you can create a perfect circle. To centralize your circle, make sure both the vertical and horizontal pink lines show up. Now select the horizontal text tool. For this video, we'll be using a font called Oswald and the color black. A link to where you can download this font yourself can be found in the description and the pinned comment below. We do goes on for as long as there are people. So it's better to be leaving roses behind. Then drag your mouse over towards the edge of the circle. Now keep an eye on your cursor. You want to click when you see an eye with a wavy line through it. Then type your text and click the check mark at the top. Selecting the path selection tool and clicking the center of your circle will allow you to drag your text around. If you want to change the position of the starting point in your text, click the text with the path selection tool. When you see an eye with a small arrow pointing to the right and slowly rotate the circle. If you want to change the position of the end point in your text, click on the text with the path selection tool when you see an eye with a small arrow pointing to the left and slowly rotate around the circle. Be sure to keep your cursor outside your circle to do this, otherwise your text will invert itself into your circle. This is also a neat effect you can do for a custom design, so give it a try sometime. Now let's say you want text both on the outside and inside of your circle. To do so, we'll first change our text to be divisible into two parts using the text tool and the place the first section at the top of our circle with the path selection tool. Then we'll right click on our text layer and select duplicate layer. With the path selection tool still selected, rotate your text towards the bottom. Then while holding, click and move your cursor to the circle. Now going to edit at the top and selecting free transform path while holding down the shift key. Enlarge the circle to align with the upper text. Now you can change your bottom text to whatever you like by selecting the text tool and clicking on your text. If you want to match the spacing of the bottom text to that of the top text, go to your character tab. If you don't see this tab, go to the window at the top and select character. By changing the value of your spacing, you can match your bottom text spacing perfectly with that of your top text. In the characters tab, you can alter your text in numerous ways as well. Make it bold, italicize it, stretch it, change the font, and a few other things. Once you're done editing your text, make sure to click the check mark at the top to confirm your changes. If you have any further questions, leave a comment below and we'll be sure to answer it as soon as possible. The script for this video can be found on our Patreon. If you enjoyed this video and would like to not only see them continue but improve in quality, consider supporting us on Patreon or Ko-Fi. Links in the description below. See you next time.